Hey guys, that horror critic here, and today we're going to be talking about Friday the 13th Part 2. It's the sequel to the original Friday the 13th. And basically, this movie just follows the same kind of plot as the original. It's a slasher film where a group of people go to a camp, it's the same camp, and they get picked off one by one. And in this movie, since Mrs. Voorhees got her head hacked off, we have Jason, who popped up at the end of the last movie as a child, dragged Alice down out of her canoe. And so now he's the killer in this movie, and he wears a potato sack on his head with an eye hole cut out, similar to uh, the Phantom Killer in the town that dreaded sundown. He, he had two eye holes in his bag, but similar appearance. Um, Jason's very hickish, you know. He, uh, He's definitely, like, mmm... I mean, he's been out on his own for years, and he watched his mother get beheaded, and at the beginning of the movie, he gets revenge on Alice. He takes, like, a screwdriver and then sticks it in the temple of her head, which kills her. Uh, at the time this movie came out, slasher movies were becoming more rampant. As I said, I think the first one really started everything in that. So... By the time this movie came around, there were a lot more slasher-esque movies. Even uh, Halloween 2 had decided to not go the path of the normal, like the original Halloween, and just, you know, go into a more slasher route. And if you notice in Halloween 2, which is 1981 as well as this movie, they both have a kill which features the killer slamming the backside of a hammer on someone's head, so I find that kind of interesting. Um... Friday the 13th Part 2 is a great movie. Honestly, uh, at this point, 2 is a hard one to choose. Like, if is it my favorite? I mean, I don't know. I, I might think it is, honestly. Uh, I like it quite a bit, but I can't say it's my favorite because just 2 through 6 are basically the same for me. I like them all about equally. I mean, parts of 2 I like. Like Jason in this movie, I know his hockey mask is iconic and it's it's great and everything, but the the uh, the backhead really does it for me. It's a lot scarier for sure, especially the scene where uh, she's out in his uh, his little shack and she sees him. Like you can see him running up in the background, like through the window. That is a creepy looking scene. You know, he just looks far creepier in this movie, and that's one thing I do really, really like about this movie. The kills are fantastic. Same level of gore and everything as the original. Um, just, just really, really good movie. The special effects, like I was saying, was top-notch. Whenever Jason gets his bag removed at the end of the film, he looks great. He looks uh, crazy, just uh, completely messed up in the face, but it looks fantastic. Uh, Friday the 13th Part 2, uh, I definitely recommend it. It's one of those movies where you often, more times than not, see it on a list of sequels that are better than the original. And in that point, I, I think I'll have to agree with that. I mean, not just because Jason is the killer in this, and I started watching the movies with Jason first. That's not the reason. Uh, it's just... I, I find myself enjoying this movie more. I just find it creepier than the... Uh, the, the first movie so thank you guys for watching tomorrow will be Friday the 13th part 3 I hope you guys have a fantastic October 2nd see ya